say graduate students or should I say researchers? Last meeting, we have learned from lesson 1 that quantitative research is a formal, deductive, and systematic process that focuses mainly on obtaining and analyzing numerical data. The method of data collection is objective and replicable. The findings of quantitative research is very credible and useful for administrators, lawmakers, scientists, decision makers, and business owners. It is for these reasons that quantitative analysis can be applied and very useful to various fields of study. In this lesson, you will uncover the role of quantitative research in the advancement of knowledge across fields. Today, we will talk about the importance of research across fields. When we talk about the importance, it is the essentiality or relevance of research on different fields. For example, what is the relevance or essentiality of quantitative research to social sciences, to natural and physical sciences, to agriculture and fisheries, to sports, business, and education? Problems are all over in different areas of life. Problems need solutions through research. And so, why do people do research? People do research to find solutions. To what? To problems. And to improve and enhance ways of doing things. Or simply to find answers to questions or solutions in daily life. Next is to affect lives, change things, laws, rules, rules and regulation. The findings of quantitative research or study can influence leaders or lawmakers' decisions for crafting and implementing laws for the safety on and welfare of the more significant majority. For example, a community with high cases of COVID-19 positive patients is mandated by law to be under ECQ or the Enhanced Community Quarantine. On the other hand, Cities with less or zero cases will be under general community quarantine, where some businesses, public and private offices, are already allowed to operate. Next is quantitative research based on proof. The very basic definition of quantitative research is this. Quantitative research is the systematic, empirical investigation of observable phenomena via statistical and mathematical techniques. In, research, in quantitative research, we will use a statistical tool. What are those? Those are t-test, z-test, f-test, um, chi-square, ANOVA, or analysis of variance, analysis of variance, and the like. And so quantitative research could be based on proof because of these statistical techniques. Quantitative research and education. Teachers do research. Why? Why do we need to do research? Teachers are trying to improve education through research, and we call this as action research. We are aiming for quality education and to improve educational practices. The other role of uh, research in education is innovation in teaching strategies. Okay, This is the product of research. For example, inquiry-based instructions, cooperative learning, technology in the classroom, um, behavior management, and differentiation. Those are ex products of research. Next is to address problems systematically about decreasing quality of education. Okay, So the Department of Education used research to address this problem. Okay? If you could remember the PISA or the Program for International Students Assessment last 2018, the Philippines ranked 79th. In this assessment and this is the last part on this assessment and so we are using research to improve or to address this um, problem systematically or scientifically so that is the help of research in education quantitative research and ABM or the accountancy business and management what is the role of research in business number one Correctly determine customer and their preferences. Number two, establish the enterprise in the most feasible location. Number three, deliver quality and good services. Number four, 
find ways how to continuously satisfy the growing and varied preferences of the client. Research has always been an important part of building successful business. Business owners should base their decisions on careful research. Research will help you to decide which product or menu should stay. For example, a particular product nobody buys anymore. Through research, the business will create a new design or product in order to cater the preferences or the needs of the customer. Business owner may also use feasibility study, a form of research, to address where and how it will operate. They can also identify potential obstacles that may impede to its operations and recognize the amount of funding it will need to get the business. And these are the contributions or the applications of research in business. Number one, it uh, device marketing strategies. And number two is, it improved the marketability of the business. And that is the help of research in business. Quantitative research and behavioral science. Quantitative research in behavioral science tend to explore questions of differences or questions of relationships to uncover patterns of behavior. One behavior exhibited by people is related to other types of behavior. For example, when a person has a high level of verbally aggressive behavior, tend to be physically aggressive, is there, is, is there a relationship between the level of verbally aggressive behavior to the physically aggressiveness of an individual? Another example is that experiences of adolescents with disabilities and people with mental retardation are vulnerable to economic, psychological, and physical abuse. Okay, then when researchers discover that a certain relationships exist in sample that he or she has thrown from a population, he or she is then in a position to draw generalizations. Quantitative research and science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Researchers in these fields ultimately aim for man's longevity. As for engineers, architects, and other builders, Research help in providing designs as they utilize modern technology to adapt to the ever-changing society. Most inventions and innovations are products of quantitative studies. Before you can enjoy the uses and features of a smartphone, it took years of research to establish compliance to standards, to find the most cost-effective raw materials, identify the sleekiest and steadiest design, the fastest, data saving and processing power, and the most marketable add-ons according to consumer needs. And those are the help of uh, quantitative research in engineering and technology. One of the best um, contributions of research in the field of science is vaccine. Vaccines are to strengthen our immunity against viruses causing highly communicable diseases like polio, influenza, chickenpox, and measles, to name a few. Our scientists and medical experts all over the world today are working their best to fast-track the development, testing, and release of the vaccine for the coronavirus or the COVID-19. As the pandemic has critically affected the world, economy, education, as well as physical, emotional well-being of the people. We are praying and hoping, with the help of research, we can beat COVID-19. Since we are done on tackling about the importance of research across fields, let us now do this activity. Answer the following questions clearly and briefly. How is quantitative research relevant to different discipline? That's letter A. Letter B. Explain briefly the importance or contribution of quantitative research to each of the following fields of this study. Natural and physical science, agriculture and fisheries, social and social science, business and accounting, sports. And that's it for today. Keep safe. God bless us all. Stay home.